Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Clueless. Um, we're diving back into our no calf, <clears throat> ooh, excuse me, no calf challenge here. Uh, this is episode eight. In the last episode, I really just kind of dove headfirst into tournaments, and that seems to be working for us. I really like uh, the money we're getting. Um, I did get my behind handed to me a few times, <laughs> uh, but what's kind of cool is is in addition to the cash. Obviously, I'm getting the the three extra renown relatively uh, uh, quickly. You know, I would even acknowledge faster than I initially thought. Um, so it was definitely a good idea that one of uh, my subscribers recommended that I kind of do that. So thanks again. Um, that being said, I think we're just going to continue along that same trek and just, uh, you know, getting more troops and uh, more cash and renown through tournaments. Uh, I definitely want to beef up my army though because I, I really want to start taking on some of these minor factions. I need to make peace with them though or at, or at minimum find a faction that, that is already at war with both of them and we can get into that a little bit later for now. Let's dive right back in. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put the my loot that I won from the last tournament and let's see can I give these boots to one of my other units okay it looks like they all have the same okay so there you go and then i should have enough cash to get me a few horses so that's going to be the name of the game here is getting as many horses as i can i think i'll hold off right now what's my movement speed 5.5 yeah i should be okay I need to find the next tournament and uh, kind of just continue doing that. All right. So, Car Banseth and Pen Kanak. So still very much inside of the. Batanian lands, which is perfect because that's where I want to hang right now, anyway. So, both of these should be really close, yeah, right here and right here. So, let's go ahead and do that. I need, I need to take another peek at my party and, and really uh, take a temperature check, see how they're doing. Um, Arena, let's save like I always tell you guys and have at it. Also, I'm thinking I may switch from, from throwing weapons to archery. I can take down much more opponents uh, that way. Uh, ooh, Highland Scale Armor. That that right there is a good tournament prize, ladies and gentlemen. That is a good tournament prize. Okay, I definitely want to win this one now. <laughs> Let's do it. What's going on? I think my guy was like laying down for a second. Oof. I mean, was that elegant or what? I was basically dancing. I am a ballerina. I am. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. 1v1s. Perfect. Oh, snap, did not see him. Just let them get out. This is playing smart, guys. Just let them deal. Let them fight. And then I'll take this guy on. Oof. Thought I was blocking. Teabag. Bag and it's good for your health. All right. Highborn warrior. Oh, no, no, no. Batanian veteran skirmisher. Yeah, I should be able to take him just fine. Let him get close. Boom. Boom. Let's go. This highborn youth got nothing on me. Oh, 
Let's go, come on. That armor is mine. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm a little excited, sorry. I bet you that armor will be worth something too. Hmm, let's see. Whoop, not, not the right thing. Let's go to party. 640, oh, not that great, honestly, but it does look cool though, doesn't it? <laughs> Like I tell you guys now, I basically pass the armor down the line. Okay. Let's get rid of that garbage <laughs> cloak he has here. Uh, and I guess I should get rid of my simple javelins. Or maybe I could pass them down the line here. And give them all... Eh, I think I'll do that. There's no reason. I already spent the money on them. Why get rid of them? Um, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll just go ahead with that. Let's go to Pan Kanak and get get another tournament under our belt. I'm thinking I'm going to buy some more horses too at some point. I just haven't figured out when exactly I want to do that yet. So save. Let's get in the arena here. Ooh, look at that. I just have to decide if I'm going to sell that or pass it along to my troops. I think, I think I'll pass it along. Ooh. That was such a trash shot just a second ago. This last one should do it right here. Come on. Nice. Very nice. Look at it. It's all people from my party, too, that made it. That's awesome. Come on. Let's go. This guy is really aggressive. Boom. But these axes are no joke, man. I need to get me one of these. Jeez. I gotta maybe drop it the next time I have it so I can see what it is. <gasps> I have been defeated. <laughs> no. We're gonna load. We're gonna load because the way my wallet works. <laughs> I don't have enough dinars to, to be losing tournaments like this, so we're just gonna load. This is why we save, guys. This is why we do it. So silly, because it looked like I was just mopping the floor with those guys. I mean, it was whatever. I gotta let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <clears throat> I need a beer. Is it five o'clock yet? The tournament prize is still the same. That's interesting. Okay. Oof. Ouch. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go after the archer. Ouch. Boom. Uh, let's let's do this. Oh shoot! Been right here. Oh. 
Oh no. Don't kill him, please. Don't kill him. Oh, no. Please hit him. Oh no. But are we gonna make it? I think we would make it to the next round. Because we were the last two to die. Let's see. This is a lord too. It's not surprising why he's so good. Not that good, apparently. Oh, man. Your team is disqualified. What? Okay. That's okay, guys. Third time is a charm. I'm actually curious to see too if the tournament prize will change because in the other ones it was like boots and stuff this one's like armor it's armor every single time i'll just stick around here and make sure all my troops or excuse me all my uh companions get upgraded that would be ideal then we'll start going after some lords it is the same hmm it's interesting indeed I just took him out. Oh, one of them's an oath sworn. And I have the Lord on my team. That's not even a fair fight. Oh! It's a beautiful shot. Who am I fighting? Oh, I'm fighting. Oh, the oath sworn. Well, I could probably take this Lord out. Yeah, see? You're not that tough. <laughs> I should have gave him a tea bag. I gotta fight him again? Watch him just pwn me right now. I'm gonna use this stump to protect myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Should have it now. Let's see. There you go. So wheat. All right. Let's look at my inventory. Pass this down the line. I think now would be a good time to pick up a bow real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a regular hunting bow, I guess. Let's get that missile speed. And some cheap arrows, right? Let's see. Should I do regular arrows or just spend the extra cash now? You get one pierce. A bag of 20 I get 27 with these you know I feel like I'm not I'm not going to oh look you get the pierce and the 27 yeah let's just do this I mean it's pricey now but it's essentially what I won from the last tournament so that'll allow me to put more men down from range and I can decide if I want to fight on the front line of the infantry or the archers so I prefer the flexibility of that and I'll just make sure all of my companions have throwing weapons since I want them really in, in the fight. Okay, Sargat and pra Pravend. So those are uh, Vlandian lands. Don't wanna go that far east, or excuse me, west. 
Let's just see. Sarka is right there. Where's Craven? Oh, Craven. Sure, why not? Why not? We're making money. How's my clan doing? Oh, so he exceeded uh, tier two. It's about time that I pick up another companion. Hmm. Looks like this guy should get a bow as well. Okay, we're gonna do that too and get him a bow. We'll do that first and then I'll dive into the next tournament. Which is perfect. So I'll take this, give that to this guy. Step bow and him, we'll just do regular arrows. All right, there you go. Don't say I never did anything for you. Ooh, I'm gonna have the most mismatched armor in the world. Watch, it's gonna look ridiculous. Ooh, cavalry. Oh, is this cheating, guys? Is this cheating? This is the tournament. I didn't ask for this. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it's not cheating. <laughs> the no-cav challenge was really for field battles. But as you can see, this is my this is my jam right here. I, I thrive in mounted combat. Unless my horse is killed from under me. Ridiculous, what the hell? <laughs> that was awesome. I killed like most of the guys in this battle. That was awesome. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because uh, this is Blandian territory, so they're they're mounted warriors mostly. Or um, they're known for their mounted knights. So. Oh, I thought I was gonna be cool jumping. Jumping and then swinging. Oh! What a shot, dude. Holy smokes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still gonna kill you, but uh, but thank you. The bill hook. Pretty fierce weapon, good reach. Vlandian Billman, I should, I should be able to take this guy. Although this is his specialty, so let me use a stone this time, huh? What? Uh, okay. Yeah, we're we're just gonna we're gonna go with that. <laughs> I like sneezed on the guy once and he died. That was hysterical. All right, let's look at. Okay, passing it along. Wow, he looks absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Look at his face. His face is so long and the hat is so big. Oh my God, it makes no sense, but he needs the armor, so. Uh, it hurts to look at. You know what I need? I need a medic. That's what I need.
I'm ready for some more field battles though. So maybe after this last tournament, we'll turn it around and uh, we'll start going after Lords again. Maybe I'll finally pick up those horses too as well. So if I'm correct, that probably means that this is gonna be another, another piece of armor. So let's see. The hat probably, the, the helmet rather. Yep, okay, cool, all right. That works out. Wow. And their sergeants are so cool, look at that. Okay. Ah, yes. Let's see if I can just flank one of these guys real quick. I'm surprised that wasn't a kill shot to be honest. Feel much more comfortable playing cavalry, cavalry like this. I mean, I like the the no cap challenge. I'm enjoying it, um, but as you can see, I seem a little bit more in the over here. Oh my God, how many hits is this guy gonna take? Even that horse was like, uh-uh, that was wrong, uh-uh. <laughs> Showing off on the cab front, man. Jeez. Of course, on the no cab challenge. But there you go. Easy peasy. Let's do it. Pass that helmet along. Guess I'll do that and just get all my troops the <laughs> their armor and weapons and everything they need. Just like that. arena and find out where the next tournaments are going to be at i'm guessing it's going to take me up north through sturgia i doubt it would take me back south ostacon and jacqueline where are those i think one of those is still Vlan like vlandia yeah, right here. And the other one is down here. I'm kind of inclined to go south because I, ideally I can swing back over here. So that is... How much is my party worth? 300 a day. I really got to start thinking a little bit more critically about my cash because I could do tournaments all day and just keep making money that way. But at some point, like they, I'm sorry, they look ridiculous. <laughs> I almost want to get all the tournaments I need just to have them look stupid like that. It's hysterical. Oh, my gosh. Um, OK, anyway. <laughs> OK. I lost my train of thought. Uh, I, I I think I'm gonna search out some parties here. Let's look at my faction and see who I can attack. So these guys, Embers of the Flame, I can fight. It doesn't look like they're, they're part of a faction. These guys are, they're part of Sturgia, so I'm not gonna be able to fight them. 
and then these guys are part of the Western Empire, so I won't be able to fight them. Now, what empire can I join? What army can I join? Or faction, rather. That's fighting all three of these guys. Let's see. Northern, so the empire. And then me. Only me. And he is part of the empire. So I guess making peace with them is going to be a priority in order to... Yeah, in order to be able to join a faction because they won't let you join if you're at war with someone so let me find out where this guy is at he's pretty close to me actually so let's head this way i'm not going to spend the cash on the horses because i'm going to start bleeding cash right now walking around the map you know i probably should reduce my party but man, I really don't want to. I like what I have, and I like that I can quickly replace like good units I lose with the recruits. And I'd love to really expand my army more, but I just don't have enough streams of income. You know what I mean? So it would behoove me to save up to buy a caravan. That'll produce a passive income that will allow me to to really grow, you know? And then I won't be strapped for cash all the time, but right now I'm just gonna bleed cash walking around. I need to get like a mercenary contract or something. I need to find Siver. This is the part that sucks, man, when you're at war with these minor clans, because they're literally all over the map and you have no idea where they're going to be next. And I can't go on forever like this. Let me see if I can just join them. I, I doubt they're going to let me. But let's just see. Oh, sweet. So I can become a mercenary. All right, but do I want to be a mercenary for the Empire fighting Empire troops? I feel like that's kind of counterproductive. Because then it's like an equal fight every single time. Okay, well, now that I know that I can become one, let's just take a look and evaluate real quick who I want to join. Let me see who the Northern Empire is fighting. They're fighting the Kazites. Oh, the last thing I need is to be an infantry army versus those guys. I mean, I, I can do it. It's just we're not there yet. Um, what about the Southern? Minor factions. It's not even worth my time. And Western. They're at war with Batania. Batania has the the archers. So I'm kind of pinched between a rock and a hard place, but I do like the idea of fighting non-Empire units. So I think we're going to do that, guys. That is what we are going to do. We're going to get a mercenary contract so I can raid and pillage uh, and grow my coffers at the expense of the Batanians. So let's go ahead and do that. Sort of write some. All right, accept. You can count on me, blah, 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 blah. And now... Oh no, <laughs> I 
joined the wrong ones. <laughs> I'm like, I thought these were the Western. Uh, okay, sorry. Hey, I actually... Uh... Can, I, can I leave? Actually, we'll just load the save. I don't, what am I doing? Because I... <laughs> that was so stupid. Uh, all right, you know what we're going to do is we're going to call it here um, in the next episode. That's what I'm going to do. Make my way to the Western Empire and join them um, so that I can pick on the Batanians and stuff like that. I'm going to ideally, I'm thinking I'd like to raid villages and get that loot uh, and then I'll be able to attack caravans and stuff. I think that's going to be a little bit more fun. Um, so let's see here. Perfect. All right, guys. Uh, hey, this has been another episode with the Clueless Gamer. Really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button uh, for more content. I'll catch you on the next one.